Hi everyone, McCallum Tepsich here from Keller Williams Realty and today we're going to be taking a different approach and we're going to be looking at a condo in downtown Toronto through a virtual 3D tour. I promise we will not be talking about statistics. Let's get into it. Okay, so now we're in the actual interface and we can go through the 3D tour. On the far left you'll see the floor plan with an icon that'll show you exactly where you are in the condo. The bottom side, you have the exterior, the park it sits across from, and the lobby, and you could click into any of these three and 3D spin yourself around that area. Down here as well, you have individual parts of the unit, and you could click into any of them, and they will pop you right into that specific area of the unit. So you can also do this on the far left over with the floor plan, click and it'll automatically bring you to where you want to go. So right now we're going to start at the front door. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit choppy. It's a little bit hard to look at if you're not the one navigating, but I'm going to do my best to keep it as still and seamless as possible. So bear with me. Okay, so right here on the left, we have a closet. And if we jump forward through that door, we see the laundry room. We've got a sink, washer, dryer, additional storage. And as you can see, I'm scrolling all the way up to the ceiling and you can see every little corner in this unit. So let's get ourselves out of there. We'll pop into the kitchen right here, the dining area right here, and a small little alcove that would be perfect for a chair and a light looking out over the condo and to this perfect view. Now let's jump into the dining area right here with some built-ins, great built-ins. And keeps panning around. We can see the kitchen, perfect island, and all the way into the living area. Let's see if we can jump yeah, a little closer. You've got the Berksy Park right down here and Lake Ontario just out that way down south. Now right now we're in our living or family space, nice fireplace and an area for a TV. We'll jump into the kitchen. And again, you can see every little corner that is in this unit. It's perfect. Now this technology has been around for quite some time, but we're only starting to see it come to use significantly now, given we are in this pandemic. Now, this is the guest washroom and the washroom for the first bedroom. You can pop in a little further, you can see the shower all the way up, toilet and sink and mirror, again, all the way up, all the way down. You can see everything. Now let's pop into the first bedroom and all the way over to the view. Again, you've got the Berksy Park and Lake Ontario on the same side. Great bedroom, perfect spot for a TV and a dresser. If you needed the additional storage because you have this built-in closet right here. Now you're probably wondering, are people using this technology to purchase properties? And the answer is yes, a lot of properties have been purchased using solely this 3D tour. Now, right now we're in the library or the den or a little study, perfect little space for a desk, additional seating, whatever you want. To our left, we have the master bedroom with built-in on, built-ins on either side and a fantastic view. There's the Flatiron building. It's just gorgeous. Now, let's pop right into the master ensuite. Cabinetry on the left, double vanity, individual tub, shower, and cabinetry on this side as well. So it really goes to show you that you can see everything without actually going into the unit. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little taste for what 
people have been using to purchase real estate during COVID-19. All right, now that we've seen the property and we've seen what the technology can do, let's talk about where we see this fitting into the real estate industry post COVID-19. Now, I personally love the technology. I love its use. I'm just not sold on the fact that this will be used as the norm going forward. It's a great additional element to an already fantastic listing, but I'm not sure that it fits in. When you're buying local, it's so much more valuable to go into the actual home physically than it is to walk through it virtually. But on the other side, there's the international buyer who physically cannot make it to the property. And there's the investment buyer who's very statistics driven and needs to purchase properties in a hot market very quickly before they're sold. So they use this technology to inform their decision. Thanks for joining on the virtual tour. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you want to talk real estate, sports or lack thereof, life or anything else, I'm here to talk. And if you're wondering what's different about me, yes, I, I shaved after the last video. I realized that it needed to happen and thank God it did. It feels so much better. But no, I will not be letting Megan cut my hair. That's just too much.